So I am uh, Julie. <laughs> I am a French person. Uh, I I was a woodworker before, but uh, since I'm traveling, I decided to start um, doing life as a painter. So I decided to come to Bosnia because. I don't know, I heard it was a beautiful country with cool people and I enjoyed the city a lot. I didn't expect it much because the image of uh, Sarajevo we have uh, in France, it's like the city is destroyed by the war and it's a dangerous place, don't go there, why do you want to go to Sarajevo? And when I arrived, I really enjoyed it because, I don't know, the city is beautiful, first the architecture is awesome. I don't know, I just like the vibe of the city. It's it's kind of magic for me, it's like there is mosque and churches and synagogues just next to each other. I'm not used to that because I'm from France and uh, any other religion that is not Catholic uh, is like denied a little bit. So I'm not used to that much uh, good vibe between different religions and that's also why I like that Bosnia that much because People are just practicing their own religion and they don't really care about what the neighbor is doing. That's a thing I really like here. People are just very chill and tolerant to each other and it's peaceful. There was so much nice to me uh, at the beginning. I thought there was some, something like to be scared about. <laughs> because French people are, well, they are nice but not in the first place like that. And here every time when I arrive somewhere, people offer me a cup of coffee. Uh, they asked me if everything was okay, if I had a good travel and everything. People are super thoughtful and they know what hospitality means. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's really something I noticed here in Bosnia more than in other countries. So when I arrived here uh, I, and I wanted to paint, some old lady was starting to talk to me in Bosnian and I don't understand shit to Bosnian. Uh, except Yavolim Rakiu, which is the only thing I know. Uh, so um, the lady was keeping talking to me in Bosnian and then uh, she called the little girl to translate and the little girl uh, was talking, uh, speaking English. So she stayed with me, translated what the old lady was saying and everything. And finally she stayed with me all afternoon because she was just happy to speak to someone that is not Bosnian and to practice her English, she helped me find some materials for painting with the other people from the neighborhood. And it was just nice to paint with a little Bosnian girl next to me. So, thanks to the little girl. <laughs> uh, well, it was kind of related to the story of Sarajevo, the um, red roses that uh, I understood people used to paint at the place the people died. So the old man is kind of for the um, represents kind of the um, history. It's kind of a symbol for the um, thing that happened 23 years ago, even before that. And the fact that he's seeing um, like the roses are reflecting. It's what what he can remember and you know that kind of the past. The past, yeah. It's like the reflect of the past.